OMG, what? Follow E. OMG, who? Follow E. OMG, yeah, follow E. Who that be? Hell, that be me. Follow E. What's up? OMG, follow E. Gang, gang, gig, 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 gang. What's going on? Now, that in YouTube, right, day, baby? Well, today, y'all, if you saw my video from yesterday, I did the Deer Sausage Spaghetti. I also showed you how to kind of get the ganginess out of your deer sausage, okay? So, we gonna get started. I would like to thank the mothers, the fathers, aunties, grandparents, anybody that's taking care of kids, mentoring kids, I would like to tell you I thank you so much for all that you do. And anybody that is looking at this video, this is one person I can say is about the kids right here, and that is Yancey Williams. So I want y'all to get out and vote for Mr. Yancey. If you're in Birmingham, Alabama in District 6, please do so. I am an advocate for kids and so is he that's what i got to say so i am going to support him okay you know i'm shining <laughs> let's get our pray on thank the lord for this food that we're about to receive let it be nourishing to our body and strengthen our health in jesus name amen put some respect Baked on it, okay, y'all. I am here to tell y'all I have had a week to remember, but you know what? God is good, God is great, baby. He comes through, okay. I have some water to drink today in my Auburn cup, uh, uh, in my Auburn cup, okay, y'all. And please, this is not about rivalries right now, okay. This is about I like my team. You like your team. Don't hold against me. I'll hold against you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> so y'all, did I get a thumb? Let me get a thumbnail real quickly before I dig in. Let me see. Okay. One of them faces of work. <laughs> I have not tasted this, y'all. Only cooked it. So I'm doing the mukbang to be able to taste it and tell y'all how, um, I found out about this dish. I was actually out and um, I met, ran into a truck driver and he was talking about food and stuff. And I was telling him about my YouTube channel and all of that right there and what I was doing. And um, he basically gave me this idea. I cannot think of his name right now because he was just coming through and he was eating wings and I was ordering wings and having me a little cock tail waiting on my food <laughs> jay at jay wings y'all done seen me do about two videos out of jay wings so um so i um ran into him and we were just talking and he told me he said look do you make spaghetti i was like yeah I, I make spaghetti and he was like well look don't use turkey meat don't use ground beef he said try the deer sausage i said you know what i have some in my freezer so here we are this is how you do it. He said, make it your way. Do it with your sauce your way. He didn't give me nothing. He just told me to, you know, use this. So I already had this. So we're going to use this. And I'm going to tell y'all how it tastes, okay? Let me get a little onion. Mmm. This is good. This is a different way to have spaghetti. Oh my gosh. I should put a little extra sauce on him. But this is delicious. Okay, mister. Thank you for this. And you know what? The tone seasoning that I was telling you, marinade, the marinade, I'm sorry. It's a marinade. Um, I marinated overnight for 24 hours. This is good. Mmm. Mmm. I appreciate that.
I eat dill burgers. Dill burgers are the bomb. And guess what? We know they are eating straight grass, okay? They are not eating things that they're not supposed to. Mm. Mm hmm You can tell that it's deer sausage, but it is not strong as far as ganginess. And I happened to see that seasoning, and I knew I had the deer sausage in there, and I bought it. I had no idea that the guy was going to tell me this is the best way to eat it. Mmm. 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 Y'all, I saved my stomach for them. I only had a couple of chips today, and I am starving. But I do not plan on making this a very long video either. I have a few things I want to talk about. Mmm. That is so good. Mm. Mm. I thought the meat was going to be really heavy, but it's not. So, I was watching the Big T Awards last night. Did y'all watch that? I'm going to have to give my best performance to the Migos. Their routine was tight. Do you hear me? And then Carla B going to come out all prego. <laughs> she came out all prego. And I'm like, what? She pregnant? The airwaves hit like this. It was on YouTube. It was on Facebook. It was everywhere. And that's how she announced her pregnancy. But she did bend down there one time and looked like she almost couldn't get back. <laughs> I'm here to tell you she did do that. I wonder what they having. Megan the Stallion. I loved her uh, performance too. I like Megan. I don't care. I like Megan. I 
I love the fact they gave honors to Queen Latifah, which I feel personally that her and LL Cool J should have had that a long time ago. I was very surprised when they did the tribute to all that had passed to see a few people on there, especially the guy from Houdini, the group Houdini rap group. I didn't even know he had passed. He was only 56 years old. The cause of death is, un they haven't, you know, released that. Who else? Mm, who else did I like? I liked her. Her did real good. Um, who else? I think did good. I'm excited to see um, Jennifer Hudson play Aretha Franklin, but I would say this one thing. Jennifer, you're going to have to come hard compared to the one that Lifetime did. Because the one Lifetime did, baby, all I can say, this movie need to come hard. Because the girl, I don't know her name, but she has like a shaved hair, but she can sing. She's an actress. I mean, she did good. She's real good. And she did a very good job of Aretha Franklin. She really, really did. They're saying Kim Kardashian and Kardashian has a new man. I feel like you should wait till after your divorce. Completely over with. And in fact, why don't you give yourself a break? How about that? Get some of the miles. Let me shut up. Give yourself a break, girl. It's okay to be alone. What else? I would like to tell you, I was watching Wendy Williams and she had the bread on them. And so the bread, she told Brad, oh, I got receipts. You was trying to holler at me. And she was like, no, uh-uh, you're not my type. No, girl, no, uh-uh. And there, I found the love of my life, my forever, ever. And I said, wow, the bread really do love Judy. I cannot wait till this show come on. Excuse me. We got bits and pieces on it from um, growing up hip hop Atlanta of a relationship. And you could tell that they talk to each other and not at each other. That's something that we have to do in our relationships is learn to talk to each other and not at each other. And sometimes, you know what? Things that are not going to get solved because you might look at something different and that person might look at something different and you have to just, you know, agree to disagree. You have to agree that that's their feelings and they have to agree that that's your feelings, but we cannot come into a middle. So you have to agree to disagree. When you agree to disagree, it cuts down a lot of different arguments and issues in a relationship, I feel. And I just feel like we need to listen to each other. And maybe a lot of marriages will work better. You know, it's not all about the physical and the emotion. It's about the connection of it all, you know. And that's my feeling. If you agree, leave your comments down below.
But when she said that she would never disrespect her in that way, I found my forever ever. That is good. I cannot wait to see her show. She has come a long way. And then she was talking about why she didn't come out earlier. And Wendy was like, I was like, come on, Brad, tell everybody. Back when she was on the radio and everybody, tell everybody. But like the Brad said, she said, Ellen lost her job by doing that, you know. And back then when she was out, that was something that, you know, when she came out, that that's just something you just didn't do. Uh oh, one of my lights went out. I have to charge it. Mm. So I'm happy for the bread. So, oh, um, let me also tell y'all how happy I am. I hit my 4,000 mark. This has been a long road. It really, really has. But I am so, so blessed with the people that actually tell me how much they do watch me. I really appreciate y'all. I'm gonna get back to a little routine, but I had things going on for the past couple of weeks, so y'all forgive me on that. But I had people getting promotions and birthdays and I was celebrating with my friends and stuff so I didn't make plans to do videos because I wanted to celebrate these milestones with these people as well um shout out to AD congratulations had a great time with you at um your promotion party um I give you all the glory and the props and the praise for the hard work that you have done to get to that position so we know where we work at. That's not an easy thing. Way to, you know, move up for us. It's really not, but it is a blessing. So I'm I'm really happy for you. Um my friend Ebony, her birthday. We had a good time. Um, happy birthday to you as well. Um along with, of course, I told y'all about the other other outing that I had. I'm not going to bring that back up. But just to come back to say thank you to everyone that is watching and the ones that not even subscribe, they watch. And I, I and they faithfully watch some that's not even subscribing. So I appreciate y'all the most as well because y'all do come back and y'all watch and you know, I have people be like, where you been? Where you at? You know, so I'm here. I'm back. Y'all going to be seeing more videos. I have a few thing ideas and stuff that I want to do. So I have those things. I have a um, couple of little things that I got in my head that I'm going to do. So I have one that I'm going to start off late tonight because I'm going to let it cook all night long. Okay. So I can't wait for that one. That's one I really, really want to do. Really want to do. So, um, I'm excited about that one tomorrow. So, but y'all won't see that probably till Wednesday or Thursday, but you will see it because I'm going to record late, but I'm going to finish it up in the morning when it's done. Cause I don't want to be sitting back here going back and forth to the stove, you know, oven and everything when it could just be cooking all night while I'm asleep, you know, so on a low heat. So it'll be ready when it's time to eat. eat okay. <laughs> Anything else I had to say? I think I had one more. I don't know. I don't know. It may be to come to me. But. Hold on, y'all. Ooh. 
One thing that I loved, this is what I wanted to say, that Queen Latifah said, um, back in the day, the one thing that they don't really like is, who, wait a minute, who said, no, the brat said, I'm sorry, the brat said, um, um, Wendy Williams asked her, she was like, um, what did you think about the new upcoming female artists and stuff? And she said, oh, she named who she liked, Megan, Carly. She said, I like them. She said, the only thing that I don't like is the beef that they have with each other. She said, back when we were there, we were helping each other. We did ladies first. We did, I mean, all kind of, you know, ladies night. They did ladies night together and they would help each other out and they were more more unified you know and that is something as we we need to be is more unified i i, I think that we we fight each other so much that the unity with strong women you know it doesn't matter what color you are women are strong they are very strong you have to think about it you got the single parents you got the single the single woman or a single father i'm not saying no fathers are not single fathers and having their kids and raising them on their own i'm not saying that but you have more women than you do men and to be able to take care of three kids and yourself and make sure they dress clean and take care of, you have to give that to women. And you have to give it to them for toting them. And you got to give them props for even having them. Because all the changes that happen to a woman's body doing, taking care of having a kid and everything, and to be able to still do that without the help, some women don't have no help. So the strength that a woman can have and then to see how their kids grow up to be good kids. Look at Shaq. He ended up having a stepfather that took the place of his father. And look at the type of man that you see on TV. I don't know how he is at home, but I love Shaq. I love him. And y'all can tell him. <laughs> I just, the way he display himself and show himself is that he has a great heart. And one thing you cannot say that his ex-wife does not feel that way about him. They are like still family. And I like that. But I love what the brat said. Some people too quick to turn on people. It don't have to be that way. But y'all, I am going to finish this and go clean up my kitchen. Mm. I'm going to get off of this. Because now I got to go do some editing. So what I want y'all to do. Let me chew this up. Hmm. Okay. I want y'all to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Well, hit that bell button. Well, comment down below. Come on. Now, comment down below. And come back following OMG. What? Follow E. Uh -huh. OMG. Who? Follow E. OMG. Yeah. Follow E. Who that be? Hell, that be me. Peace. Boom.